Hello, I'm Joe Vasquez, Service Specialist with Grumfus. In this video, we will demonstrate the correct way to change a seal on the Grumfus LF and suction pump. Be sure to follow your company's lockout and tagout procedures, as well as wear your personal protective equipment as needed. This is the Grumfus LF long coupled pump, complete with base, motor, pump, and couplings. Before we begin, make sure all power has been locked out to the motor. Once power has been locked out to the motor, close the discharge and suction valves to the pump. Now we can begin the draining process. To drain the pump, drain at the pump's lowest point, which is this plug. Remove the plug and begin the draining process. Next step in changing the seal is to remove the coupling guard Next we need to uncouple the pump by removing the grid assembly of the coupling Now that we have removed the coupling, the next step will be to move the motor out of the way so that we may pull the rotating element out of the volute. Remember, the volute will be piped in place and will be left in, in its location. I left one bolt in the back in place so that I could leave the motor on the pad safely. I also removed the shims and left them in the original location for easier realignment. When the pump is in its final location, the process is to support the volute in place, remove the six bolts holding the bearing frame to the volute, remove the four bolts holding the bearing frame to your base and pull out the bearing frame to perform your seal change. Since there is no piping attached to this volute, we will remove the volute and then remove the bearing frame. Now we're ready to remove the bearing frame. Remember, when the volute is piped in, we must pull the bearing frame out of its location, out of the bearing frame, and reposition somewhere else to do the work. Now that we've removed the bearing frame off the base plate, we can work on removing the impeller. This is the impeller screw. It is part of your Grunfuss seal kit. Be sure and replace it. Now we've exposed the seal hardware as well as the impeller key. At this point we can remove the seal head. With the impeller and seal head removed, now we're ready to remove the seal housing. We're ready to replace the seal. First, we need to remove the seal seat from the seal housing using a screwdriver. Before we can install our new seal, we must make sure to clean the sleeve on the bearing housing, 
as well as the seal housing, including the gasket area and the seal seat area. With all areas clean, we are ready for seal assembly. When installing your new seal, avoid touching contact areas as much as possible. This would include the seal face of the seal seat as well as the seal face of the seal head. When installing your seal, apply lubricant around your rubber bellows for easier installation. Now we're ready to install the key and hardware. Now we're ready to install the impeller. Remember to torque all bolts to the recommended specifications. Now that we have installed the seal and put the impeller back in place, we are ready to put the pump back in its original location. Remember to put all shims back in their original place. This will make final alignment easier. Now it's time to install the volute. Replace the gasket with a new one as provided in your Grumpfus seal kit. Now that we have snugged our bolts, torque bolts to the required torque spec using the star-shaped pattern. Now that we've reassembled the pump and torqued our bolts, let's make sure that the pump turns free and that there is no snags. Now we're ready to put the motor back in place and perform a pre-alignment. I put all the shims back in their original location for an easier final alignment. Using the straight edge provided with the pump, we're now ready to perform a pre-alignment. First thing we're going to check is the vertical, which is the height. The next thing we check will be the offset, which is side to side. Now that alignment is closed, tighten the four bolts using the star shaped pattern and look for movement and recheck alignment. Pre alignment is complete. But remember, final alignment is done when the pump is primed and has been checked for leaks. Final alignment is the final step before operation. Before we do laser alignment, we should install the grid so that both shafts will turn simultaneously. Remember, motor key and shaft key 
should be offset 180 degrees. Now we're ready to install the grid. With the piece in place, now we're ready to perform our final alignment. With laser alignment complete, now we can finish installing the grid assembly. Remember to grease your couplings before you finish the coupling assembly procedure. Grid assembly is now complete. Now we're ready to install our coupling guard. Assembly is now complete. We hope you find this short video useful. Thank you.